Hello everyone, Mike with Spray Jones coming to you with another video and I've got a very well-timed topic I believe uh, with the rising construction costs and material costs of all sorts I want to cover off uh, converting existing shops that's what this video is going to be about from cold storage to warm storage uh, as we've seen building costs escalate and lead times uh, take longer and longer to get to you one of the things that people can shift their minds over is ex uh, taking existing structures that are already on their shop yard um, if you have a commercial facility maybe you've got some outbuildings from the main building farm of course you've got a number of outbuildings or on an acreage you might have built something 10 20 30 years ago just to be storing uh, your garden tractor your equipment or what have you in you can convert this fairly easily to uh, insulated and, and heating and cooling capable uh, use uh, with the use of spray foam and I think it's very pertinent because rather than outlaying for a whole new building and a whole new build site and all the costs with concrete footings uh, piles grade beams uh, getting the building waiting 8 to 10 12 16 weeks whatever it's going to be for lead time spending the whole entire year to get something up you can convert everything that you've already got so let's let's discuss the three types of buildings that we see the most being converted uh, the first would be the curved uh, Quonset style so that's going to be the arch and it's a complete arch from ground to ground um, these buildings the most critical thing is to get the corrugation right when you're doing your takeoffs um, all the different manufacturers use a different panel corrugation and you can either call the factory and ask them if they're still in business what multipliers they use or you can very quickly take some lineal measurements and compare the curvature inside your standard lineal so a 75 foot or a 50 foot deep building is not going to be 50 feet of actual material usage right um, so the reason that we like to do Quonsets in spray foam and as far as I'm concerned the Quonset is is only should be sprayed uh, because of the curve because there's no dimensional lumber on the inside the spray foam is self fastening right so if you've got a um, galvanized structure you can go and put a speed primer on I recommend speed primer anytime you're using galvanized or galvalume uh, it's cheap insurance to make sure that you've got perfect adhesion chemically burned onto the metal and then from there the spray foam is going to go and it's going to seal all the holes it's going to seal the seams right where the panels meet up and it's going to be bonded to the metal so you're not going to have an airspace I know they sell a bag system that uses clips and you can install this bag system and, and clip onto the the fastening but it's very slow very time consuming and then anytime that you have a fibrous system you are going to have to deal with air leakage getting past your vapor barrier and then uh, condensing forming frost on the inside of the building between the fibrous insulation and the metal Spray foam eliminates all that. Condensation is absolutely removed, provided that you get an even coverage everywhere and that it's thick enough. In most situations, inch and a half is more than enough to remove condensation on a metal building. We're going to spray somewhere between an inch and a half to three inches uh, for most clients. I'm in Canada. We have get some extremely cold winters here, uh, down to minus 35 Celsius in the wintertime. You know that the majority of our metal buildings are sprayed with two inches of closed cell foam for uh, agricultural and light commercial duty. And they are capable of being heated to 50 Fahrenheit, which is 10 degrees Celsius, or even 60, 65 in the wintertime with absolutely no problems. And the reason that we don't have a condensation issue is that you can't get air to go through the closed cell foam. You can't get water to go through the closed cell foam. And the closed cell foam is bonded to the metal. So it becomes a structural element, making the structure stronger, quieter. Um, I don't sell it as this, but I would argue waterproof in a lot of ways. If you've had minor dripping coming through, uh, cracks, seams, uh, missing screw holes, things like that, it's going to seal all that up. And then from the inside, you can put a top coating over top of it. At the very least, I recommend uh, putting a paint over top of the spray foam, or you can be putting a uh, acrylic elastomer coating or some fancy fireproofing we also sell an acoustical treatment where it's a light fluffy uh, shredded cellulose newspaper uh, in probably a white or a gray and then that's sprayed on over top of the foam 
The only problem with that product is it does get dirty. It does grab soot from diesel and exhaust and uh, just the dirt flying through the air, welding, smoke, stuff like that. So I prefer in most situations to give a paintable, uh, washable product over top of the spray foam. And that's just that. You can come in, you can pressure wash it within reason. Uh, and it's, it's got a you know, 50, 75 year lifespan. And when we do the coating, the spray foam and the coating on the inside, it's not open to the elements, it's not open to hail and uh, the wind and the ultraviolet and the birds and the animals pecking away at it. So as a result, you get a very attractive looking interior finish that will last uh, multi-generations without needing retouching up. Once you have got the structure of the Quonset sprayed, then you can do all of your build outs on the inside. Now, doors and uh, uh, overhead doors and uh, personnel doors and what have you, there needs to be a little bit of pre-planning. You're gonna be running conduiting. Uh, you should be running conduiting ahead of time to be running a lot of your wires in and stuff like that. So it, it requires a little bit of forethought, but maybe you've got a building sitting there uh, on your property for 20, 30 years, it's never been anything but cold storage. This is a very effective way you can get the spray guy in and in one to two weeks, depending on the size of the building, you can have that building completely sprayed on the inside, even top coated. And then you've got a structure that can be either air conditioned or heated um, and warm and usable space for the rest of the life of that building and your life. All right, moving on. Second type of building, straight wall metal. So this would be where you're having um, either like a post frame structure or a two by six structure that then has um, wood slatting on it and some sort of uh, metal on the outside. This needs spray foam big time. Um, even though you've got usually dimensional uh, lumber of some sort, whether you've chosen two by six or you've chosen posts, you can bat these buildings. But these buildings, again, never were meant to be uh, heated so the spray foam does an incredibly good job of tying them together filling all of the cracks stopping the bugs stopping the beetles stopping the condensation adding structural support to roof and walls and you know you could blow the roof in if you want to conventionally but I've covered this in other metal building videos spe specifically the post frame structure video so I'm not going to go into great length and detail here this is about converting existing shops, not going into great technical detail on how to do a post frame. So if you want to see the post frame, go watch that video. But I mean, the, I think metal buildings uh, where you do not have sheathing and then metal for the roof. So you have exposed metal in the rafters should be spray foamed with closed cell foam. And the reason being is that it ties the roof together. Uh, it adds a waterproofing layer and it eliminates the condensation drip that you get with uh, metal inside an attic and that doesn't go away unless you've sheeted it and put an underlay you put you put a sheeting underlay and then the metal then the metal if it condenses or when it condenses it won't be dripping into the interior side of the attic uh, so some food for thought metal uh, buildings of straight wall they do very very well with the spray foam it's a great way to convert them you just got to make sure that you you spray your foam in lifts don't spray it too thick too quick or you can in some situations bow metal out um, people have asked well what about replacing the metal down the road it's never been an issue for us we've never seen people that have damaged the building well enough that they've had to take large swaths of the panels off and this is a way of coming in getting a liquid applied product into all of the cracks into all the crevices crawling in around all of the corners edges corrugations irregularities taking it from ground all the way to roof maybe roof all the way to peak and then from there you've got an insulated structure that you can either paint or put paneling up of your choice on the interior side. Arch rib is the third kind. So we've done the Quonsets, the straight wall buildings that will be either metal construction or wood frame construction or post frame construction. And then the last is arch where the building is typically a wood, a curved wood uh, structure. Uh, kind of like an upside down ship, the hull of a ship, and then the building will be strapped and have uh, metal on it, or it will be plywood sided and have shingles or metal or a combination thereof. Arch ribs are absolutely made for spray foam. All three groups are made for spray foam, but one of the beauties of that is the, those buildings don't have any allocation for ventilation. So they usually have a 2x6 or a 2x8 dimensional lumber. Uh, that's then curved into the shape or thereabouts 
and this allows the spray foam closed cell two to three inches allows you to put the foam directly to the plywood or the substrate that you're dealing with and not have to worry about leaving an airspace between the insulation and that substrate and it ties an enormous amount of structural support into that roof uh, eliminates a lot of dripping and minor seam weepage that people have been getting. You don't need to worry about then rotting out the roof deck and causing problems structurally with the with the building. Uh, a lot of those buildings have just been sitting vacant for 30 and 40 years uh, and you can very quickly have a highly effective insulated curved building and then you can pour a floor. All of these buildings, Quonset, Straight Wall and Archrib, you can be doing them with floors in or floors out. So if it's late season and they haven't poured the concrete yet, I tell guys to just hold off, don't do the concrete yet, bring us in on a rolling scaffold or on an all-terrain lift is best, get the roof, get the walls done, and then after the fact, going into late season where it's cooler, you can pour that concrete, heat the structure temporarily, and very quickly and very easily warm things up, dispel the humidity, and then you're good to go. Likewise, food for thought, I've got a whole video section on spraying the underside of concrete. You can do that in these large shops as well. Floor, no floor, if you're planning on pouring concrete. You can go down and put an inch, inch and a half, two inches of closed cell spray foam down onto the rock, the prepared substrate, then go lay your rebar, then pour your concrete into it. So, you know, for 20, 30, 40, 50, 60 thousand dollars, very quickly in spray foam costs, you can have an extremely amazing envelope the the envelope with the closed cell foam with these three types of buildings is the building because without the closed cell envelope you get a very limited use of the building it's hot in the summertime it's cold in the wintertime metal buildings drip they condense they drip on cattle they drip on on equipment and machinery that's stored in so just from the condensation elimination for the roofing system it's worth it but we make the building. The building is functional four seasons of the year. Uh, very cool in the summertime in hot states and hot hot climate. And then effortless, you know, 70, 80, 100,000 BTU to heat very large 4,000, 5,000 square foot buildings. Uh, so this is, this is a very good way of effectively taking uh, the money that you've already got tied up in a structure that would cost you double or triple today to build it to what it was uh, 20 years ago 30 years ago but the timing I mean you can contact a spray foam guy before winter gets out and a lot of times before it gets really cold and condensing out and get these buildings sprayed in a matter of a week or two provided that you've got the right guy and they know what they're doing so I see converting of existing shops on structures as going to be a really good use of money for the next few years to come as costs have escalated uh, it's good to put the money into the spray foam, get a functionally usable structure, and you did it in a quarter or an eighth of the time that it would have taken to do a new structure, a new kit on your existing property. So if you're interested in talking to us about this, you're in Saskatchewan, uh, you're in North America, drop us an email, drop us uh, a comment on the video, go to our website, fill out the contact us section. We'd be loving to uh, chat with you as we have for... Uh, many many people we've done many of these structures in 17 years of business and we can go over the finer point details with you at that point all right catch you on the next video click like and share and subscribe leave a comment here i'd like to hear what you have to say catch you on the next one bye